Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here. Now do me a favor, if you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing guys. I try to put gaming content out like this on a steady basis and if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor, please give it a thumbs up. Now with that said, first thing I want to say to everybody is Happy New Year's. Everybody be safe if you're going out partying or whatever. Um, but regardless, everybody be safe. Have a happy new year. Hopefully you'll get some game time in tonight. I know I'm definitely going to be doing that. I'm pretty excited because I actually have off work tomorrow. So pretty awesome stuff. But uh, let's get into some pickups. I got some really, really cool pickups. Now, um, if you haven't been watching my channel recently, GameStop has had a crazy winter sale. They did have buy two pre-owned games, get two for free, which is a great deal on its own. But they do have other deals. Now, I was on their website, and behind the scenes, I actually picked up some other things. So I want to show you guys what those are because I got them in. Um, there is two items that I actually just picked up off of eBay randomly, and then I want to, you know, just give a quick short announcement at the end so let's get right into it guys so first off I was I in one of these up on Black Friday I already do have one of these I got them launch day but really really awesome little system and that is this the Sega Genesis mini this thing is absolutely awesome I am a big Sega fan always have been um, you know pretty much since the master system so I really like this little console and there is some fantastic games on here. Now with the really good mini Super, Super NES, NES mini, I have doubles of each one. Um, I did want to have a backup for when I did modify them. If something went wrong, I had another one. Um, just in case, you know, they discontinued them and they went up in value. If something went wrong, I always had a backup. So that's what I did with this one as well because when this thing is fully cracked. I do plan on modding it. Um, I absolutely love the Genesis. I modded my NES, my uh, Super NES Classic, um, and they're just absolutely great. Um, I love those little systems because, I mean, they were real easy to basically modify. Um, you know, if I could do it, probably anybody can do it, honestly. So hopefully this will wind up being the same way. I know they've been working on it since it started and there is some alternate options. You could get some like, um, I think it's called True Blue, a little SD stick that you plug in there and it has basically like the whole Genesis library um, for, you know, US and maybe overseas. But super cool, I was happy to add this second one to my collection. Now these are on sale for $49.99. That's an awesome price. I paid $80 when these came out. I want to say this is the Black Friday price that they had. So uh, I wanted to buy one then for this price. And when I seen it again, I wasn't going to pass it up because it is truly worth $50 without a doubt. So that was the first thing I picked up. Now the next bunch of things that I picked up I do have this game, I bought it on launch, and it was pretty expensive. Well, it didn't do too good, and now these things are dirt, dirt cheap. So, I went in and I took some advice by my buddy Steve Craig. I seen he was buying, pretty much bought the whole collection of these, and I did the same thing. And that is Starlink Battle for Atlas. Like I said, I already have this right here these are ten dollars this whole set is ten dollars i can't believe it so i picked this guy up right and if you can see i have a box up there on top of that shelf that's actually the box for the one that i have open um, because i do have the star fox uh the uh the r-wing ship and star fox actually out on display in my game room because man that's awesome just just having the ship alone to me is is pretty much worth the ten dollars so ju just to have the game as well like the whole package for ten bucks is a steal so i picked this up now that's just the start of it i picked up the xbox one starter pack as well for another ten dollars this has a ship that you can only get with the playstation 4 and the xbox one so I had to get this one as well because now too if I wanted to I can play this game one without Star Fox which kind of sucks but 
I could play this game in up to, you know, 4K on my Xbox One X. So that's particularly why I bought the Xbox One version, is so I could play it on my One X, if I want to do so. But what a steal. And to keep it going, I had to get these in store because these are sold out online, but I managed to pick up two weapons packs. Um, these were harder to get online. They don't have them anymore. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, the box here got ripped because freaking GameStop and all their goddamn stickers. <laughs> I hate those stickers. I just want to go uh, shove them up their ass, honestly, and, uh, you know, just load them up with stickers put those clear little circle ones they always put on my games when they're already cracked the seal on the games and and they uh, reseal them with that little round uh, clear sticker and then I gotta rip it off and there's glue all over not that not that I'm bitter or anything but all right so I got those two game packs and I did pick up these two extra characters now these were the only two that they had where I was I did see um, two other ones the other day, but I already ordered them from GameStop. Now these are the two um, characters that I'm, I'm, or the the other characters that I don't have are the ones I'm waiting for. Those are the boxes that haven't been shipped yet. So other than the couple characters, I believe I have everything that I ordered. Now the ships. Well, those characters, I believe, were $1.99. Yeah, they were $1.99 each, and I want to say those weapon packs were either $1.99 or $2.99. Whatever it is, they're super cheap. And then, boom, we have the ships. These are $5. Um, these were selling for like $15 or $20 a piece when they first came out. Now they're $5 a piece on uh, GameStop's website. That is a steal. Uh, I'll definitely uh, buy this for $5 all day long. And, and when I seen Steve Craig bought these, man, I was all over it. And I just got this one in today. This one I really like. Um, these things are awesome looking, by the way. I just really like them. I always wanted all of them, but I, it was just too much. I would never buy... I was never going to buy any of these ships, honestly, because they just were too expensive. Um, I knew they, they were going down in price and I thought about buying them, but they were still a little pricey. But for $5 a piece, I mean right here, $10. Those two starter packs, $20. It's insane. I think with everything I got, I, I want to say um, all the Starlink stuff was like 40 some dollars for all, all of this stuff. And we got more ships. So these are the other two ships I got. So that's one, two, three, four, four um, single packaged ships. And then there's the um, R-Wing and the Xbox One ship. So that's six different ships that I have here boxed. That is absolutely crazy. And these things are just awesome looking. And you know, what you can actually do in game with these things is really cool. Now the game I think suffered because they did put this stuff behind a paywall. Unfortunately, you needed these ships to be able to, one, have an extra life in the game, because the only way to have an extra life is to have an extra ship, or, um, you know, basically um, buy, buy the whole, uh, what was it, the, um, the digital content that you just got everything all at once, which that was pretty expensive. But then you didn't get any, you know, you didn't get the starter pack. So you got no physical copy and you got no ship uh, right off the bat. And I definitely wanted Star Fox. Uh, but these things are super cool looking. And for that price, I am, I was totally all in. So, um, yeah, now I have all the ships but one. There was one I didn't get and that was a GameStop exclusive. It looks like this one right here, but it's green around the bottom. Um, they don't have that for sale on their website anymore, unfortunately, or I would have picked that one up too. But I'm super happy with getting those, man. They're just cool. I, I have them displayed now, just awesome for any collection. But I got two other things that just are, are awesome. I'm still waiting for two more in the mail um, of something all Zelda related. But Zelda is my favorite stuff, period. And there's been some games I've been missing in my collection. So I finally picked up two more. And those are 
the DS games complete in box. So I have Zelda Phantom Hourglass and Zelda Spirit Tracks complete. Um, these are in really nice shape. They are complete. Um, under the manual you have all the uh, you know extra little papers and stuff that you get in these things. Um, yeah, the uh, health and safety books and um, just, you know, all, all this little stuff that they give you, you know, stuff like this, extra little papers and stuff. I guess this was some kind of a code. But yeah, it, it's all here. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I finally have these games again because I had these games years back um, when I used to have a DSi. I want to say when the DSi came out, I bought... Uh, Phantom Hourglass because that was the new Zelda game around that time um, You know, I think it was already out. It, it might have been out already I think it came out with the DS Lite possibly but when it came out it wasn't too much longer I got the DSi and I picked this up. This was the game I bought with the DSi and then uh, You know whenever this came out later. I picked this up and unfortunately I don't know what I was thinking, but I sold this stuff years and years ago. So I am glad to finally have this stuff back in my collection where it belongs. So sweet, sweet, sweet stuff. I am very happy, um, as you can tell. And I got something else. This is what I wanted to announce. I'm not going to say what it is until it gets here, but I did buy another arcade one up. I can't wait till it gets here, guys. Um, man, I'm excited. Now, I just pulled the trigger on that yesterday. I was going to get it before, but I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted to get. Uh, it was a real toss-up. I, I really had a hard time picking because there's so many awesome arcade one-up machines that these things are just awesome. And, you know, they're, they're, they're reasonably priced to, you know, where I'll pick one up. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, I have two of these things. I absolutely do love these things with all the flaws that they do have because they do have some flaws let's face it they are really cool uh, machines though I mean really I mean you can do so much with them too they're officially licensed they come with some cool games you can modify them if you want the opportunities are pretty much endless with these things um, you know I've seen people do mods that are complete overhauls and they change the whole cabinet into something totally different um, it's just amazing the stuff that has been done with these things, but they're super cool and I'm happy to be adding another one to my collection. So, um, you know, look out for that video. I can't wait to make that one. I can tell you that right now, but um, that's the video guys. Again, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody out there. Thanks so much for checking out this video and just checking out my channel this year because I started it this year and it's it's grown to over 500 right now and it's awesome. I'm really happy guys. Um, just everybody that's been engaging, it's super cool. All the cool people that I've met in this community uh, making these videos, it's been just a great journey and I do appreciate everybody that's been engaging and watching the videos, it is so cool. And the other channels that, the guys that I met, it's just been a great ride. But thanks everybody, I wish you guys a happy new year and I'll see you in 2020.